Rebels are on the road, and how did they do? They did real well tonight. Stephen Jackson took off on the road with them to Stockton tonight. Fun. And saw a very good football game, an impressive performance offensively good. for the Rebels tonight. They, they, and this team is, is hard to read in the sense that every once in a while they just have fantastic forth, performances right. like they did tonight. It's been almost two years since the Rebels have won a conference game on the road. It took a trip to Stockton for them to finally get it. Rebels beat Pacific tonight 37-28. to Impressive performance for the Rebels. Rolled up more than 650 yards total offense. Derek Stott had 315 yards passing. Hunky Cooper and Marv Eastman both rushed for 120 yards. That's a piece with these two guys. Rebels win big. They play Fullerton at home. Saturday night. Top ranked Notre Dame at home against Purdue. No luck today for these guys. Just great football. Rick Meyer looking like old Tony Rice there with that touchdown on the option play. And then the Rocket takes the pitch on the reverse and it works to perfection. Look at him. Break tackles. And finally gets a touchdown. His first of the season. His longest run from scrimmage as the fans in South Bend are fired up. And then they get this touchdown. Little jump over the end zone in a, a spin nice somersault there 37 to 11 Notre Dame as expected takes care of Purdue easily Virginia Tech and Florida State and Florida State is the winner at that one 39 to 28 big football game a matchup in the SEC number five Tennessee at number three Auburn Stan White two minutes left touchdown pass to Greg Taylor Auburn is down by one with less than two minutes left with that touchdown but Pat Dye does it again he goes for the tie Kicks the one-pointer instead of the two-pointer. No guts for this guy or something like that. With less than two minutes left, you got to go for the two there. Pat Dye does this often. We've seen it before from this guy. Tennessee has a chance to win it. 15 seconds left. Greg Burke misses a 34-yard field goal attempt. So the game ends in a 26-all tie. Great football game. Great matchup. And because of Pat Dye, it ends in a tie. Thank you very much, Pat. Appreciate that one. Um, BYU, Oregon. 32 to 16, Oregon pulls off the upset. The Cougars were three-point favorites in this game. Ty Detmer, Heisman Trophy candidate, was sacked five times, threw five interceptions in this game. Meanwhile, Bill Musgrave, Oregon's fine quarterback, spotting receivers all over the place. When they're wide open like this, you better spot him. He wins the duel with that touchdown, and then hitting, hitting wide open receivers left and right. Oregon gets revenge for last year's loss with an impressive win over BYU, 32 to 16. Michigan wins big over Maryland, 45 to 17. And look at the Virginia Cavaliers, now 5 and 0, first time in 40 years they've done that. A big win over William and Mary today. Nebraska beats Oregon State. You know, you know the Beavers did beat the spread though on that. The spread was only 55 points for Oregon State, but they, but they, did, they even had the lead at one point in that football game. Um, Oklahoma over Kansas, 31 to 17. Uh, you've also got Miami of Florida, former number one team, uh, wins easily over Iowa, 48 to 21. Texas A&M over LSU, 17 to 8. In Colorado, it's uh, the Colorado Buffaloes winning over Washington by six points, 20 to 14. And the battle for the Bayou Bucket goes to Houston. They had to come from behind to win this ball game, 24 to 22. Okay, rainy day in Columbus, Ohio for Tommy Trojans. Uh, USC trying to rebound from last week's loss to Washington. They're at Ohio State today. And as you'll see throughout this sportscast, it was very rainy and wet in Ohio today. Ricky Irvin's 164 yards, a couple of touchdowns. That was just, just the first half. USC running away with this one. Then, first half, we had a fight in this one. A late hit by one of the Trojan players, and they're over in uh, Buckeye country there, and a big brawl breaks out. And if you're a Trojan, you want to get out of there in a hurry. There's a bunch of silver helmets around there. And uh, outnumbered. There was lightning threat and rain throughout this football game. In fact, the game was finally called because of lightning and rain. Look at that in Columbus, folks. It was pouring down. Uh, Ohio, uh, USC was in, in good shape to win the game anyway by the final score, 35 to 26. You got an upset down in Arizona tonight. California beats the Arizona Wildcats, 30 to 25. Florida over Mississippi State, 34 to 21. Clemson and Duke, 26 to 7. Clemson is the winner there. Here's a great play for you. The only score of the game for Duke comes right here. The up back, Leroy Gilman. How many times have you seen the up back take the kickoff and run it back? Never. I've never seen the up back do it. You see the deep backs do it sometimes. But the up back goes all the way, and yeah, he's in, folks, for the touchdown. The only TD for Duke is they lose to Clemson. The rest of the scoreboard, Missouri, as expected over Arizona State, 30 to 9. Michigan State beats Rutgers. 34 to 10 on the road. 
Arkansas over Colorado State, 31 to 20. Fresno State bombs Fullerton State, 38 to 3. Also, uh, Georgia Tech and South Carolina, there's an upset for you. Big one, Georgia Tech wins big over South Carolina. Might not really have been an upset, but, but for Georgia Tech to win by that many points, that was not expected. And also, Nevada Reno up north uh, gets a victory over Idaho with a, a field goal late, 31 to 28. I also want to mention congratulations to George Allen, the, the uh, coach at uh, Long Beach State, got another win today. His second of the season by winning by a point over Boise State. The Cincinnati Reds, boy, they have been patient. Finishing second four years in a row. It ended today. The Reds in the rain in Ohio, folks, lost to the Padres, but with the Dodgers losing to San Francisco, the Reds clinched the West for the first time since 1979. They led from start to finish in this division, and victory is very, very sweet for these guys. You, you anticipate this, and you work so hard for it, and you dream about it, but you never really know what to expect until it happens. Biggest day of my life. I'm out of breath, okay? Biggest day of my life. Yeah, big day there for Marge Shot. I lost the ball game, but so what? These guys, uh, no backing in when you play as many games as you do in the, uh, the Major League Baseball season. 3-1, to one, the final score. The Dodgers, as I said, lost to San Francisco 4-3. to three. Pittsburgh is a winner over St. Louis. 8-zip. Bob Walk the shut out there. And Chicago beat New York, so the Mets lose. The Pirates win. That means the Pirates clinch at least a tie with four games left. Of course, three of those games are between the two teams, Pittsburgh and New York, but it looks like the Pirates got that wrapped up. Montreal over Philadelphia 5-1. to one. And Houston shuts out Atlanta 9 to zip. All right. Take a look at this one. How about those Red Sox against Toronto today? In Fenway, Roger Clemens, the Rocket, indeed, is back. Hasn't thrown since September 4th, at least in a real game. See ya, Fred McGriff. As he goes down, and talk about see ya. Look at the plate. Tom Bernanski hits one, two, three home runs in the game. First time since 1983 that a Red Sox player has hit three home runs in a single ball game. Jim Rice was the last to do it. And it was Brunanski and Clemens combining for the victory. Boston 7-5 over Toronto. Big win there because the Red Sox are now up by two games in the American League East with only four games left. Of course, they play again tomorrow. If Boston wins that, they will clinch at least a tie for first place. But if Toronto wins it, they're back to one game and, and then uh, would have three games left. So it still has not been settled. But Boston looks to be in great shape in the American League East. Oakland is a winner over Texas, 7-3. That's 101 wins now for the Oakland A's this season. Minnesota beats Detroit. A shutout there, 2-zip. Of course, Cecil Fielder did not hit a home run there. Uh, look at, hey, we had rain in Ohio, folks. Baltimore and Cleveland rained out. What a shock, huh? Uh, Milwaukee uh, over New York, 8-1. Kansas City and California, the Angels win that one down in the Big A, 9-6. And finally, Chicago over Seattle, 5-2. Tough to watch. The end of this game because it means final game for Comiskey Park on the south side of Chicago. Got to be uh, sad to see this old ballpark go. Chuck Comiskey turned out the lights tonight. He was the guy that turned them on back in 1939 originally. So farewell to Comiskey for the last time. And had some great moments. Some great sad. moments in that ballpark that come to mind. Dis disco night when they had to s suspend the second that. game of the doubleheader because of all the albums that blew up. Uh, you had. <laughs> The White Sox and those shorts played in that field, so some great moments. <laughs> great moments Kaminsky. that you'll remember yeah. fondly. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Ron. Still to come tonight, sometimes the grass is...